Hi, this is Terry Gillespie, and welcome to Book Pre-Review, the books I'm excited to read, and this is episode 32. And I'm very excited to read, to read and to tell you about um, this book written by award-winning author Gail Pallada, and it is called Cooking Up a Mystery. And if you haven't guessed by now, it is a cozy culinary mystery, and it is Christian Suspense. And this book comes in paperback and Kindle. And this author, who uh, Gail is a part of um, our local chapter of ACFW here in Georgia, so I've known Gail for a couple of years. And if you want to get to know Gail, you can get to know her uh, on her website at gailpalata.com. And that has popped up. So um, you can, don't have to worry about trying to remember what that web address is because all of those important links are down below in the description section. And on your way down to that description section, if you could click the subscribe button, and when that bell comes up, if you can click that as well, that means that you won't miss any of my new videos that pop up. And if you're interested in books and in great authors, you're gonna love these videos. And speaking of which, be sure to like, comment, and share this video because it will really help Gail get her book out into the YouTube world and let people know about what she's writing. And she is a hoot. She, she is a funny writer and she's a great, great suspense writer as well. So here's a little bit about Gail. Um, she is an award-winning, as I said, uh, author, wife, mom, swimmer, and bargain shopper who loves God, beach sunsets, and getting together with friends and family. She's a former Grace Awards finalist, a 2017 Reader's Favorite Book Award recipient, and a Top Shelf 2020 Book Awards finalist. She's published six books, poems, short stories, and 200 articles. Some of her articles appear in anthologies, while two are actually in museums. So this is the publisher notes for uh, Cooking Up a Mystery. Lanny Eskridge worked to put her husband through dental school. Then he left her for another woman. She's on the edge from emotional scars in her parents' death. Then she hears unexplained noises in her new tea house, and her anxiety is tripled. Add a budding romance with Eric, a guy with a fear of commitment, and it's all too much to handle. She cuts ties with Eric and plunges into making her business pay off. But when Eric discovers that Lanny's in danger, he vows to protect her. But can he make a lasting promise? Will she trust him? And when they overhear a threat that could cause national turmoil, will anyone believe them? There's more brewing than herbal tea in cooking up a mystery. Oh, that kind of rhymes, doesn't it? So, sounds good, doesn't it? It sounds fun. So you will, you can purchase Cooking Up a Mystery at Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, and BookBub, and at local retailers. Uh, you may have to ask for it. If you don't see it, always ask for the book. So my reviews are posted on applicable venues like Amazon, BookBub, Goodreads, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, NetGalley, and ChristianBook.com. And also below in the description section are links to a sign up for my newsletter. And right now there you get two free gifts if you sign up for my newsletter. You get the first chapter 
of the third book of the Hair Maven series, Really Bad Hair Day. And the next week you get another gift and it's a surprise. You'll have to wait and see what that is. Also, if you could friend and follow and subscribe to my Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Goodreads, BookBub, and MeWe uh, sites, I would be so grateful. So thanks again for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And I'll see you next week. God bless and keep reading.